Good morning, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. I'm out on my run in my neighborhood and I wanted to stop and talk about a plant growing here along the roadside. This is Ficaria verna. The common name here is Lesser Celandine. It is also known as Fig Buttercup. And you can see there's just a small patch of it here along the roadside and I want to move up a little bit further and show you what this plant looks like when it um, is blooming and when it really gets a hold in your garden. So hang tight, let's go up this way. All right, here we can see a patch of lesser celandine in bloom. So this plant may look attractive. It may look like something you want in your garden, but it's highly invasive. It's listed as a noxious and invasive weed in 25 states in the US and it is an opportunistic pioneering species which generally that's what becomes invasive because they can grow in a wide range of conditions and they have evolved to have some strategies that make them more aggressive than other plants and take over so lesser celandine prefers ground that is wet for much of the year but can't handle like really waterlogged boggy soil but that means that it's it's well adapted to the pacific northwest where we have a lot of moisture in our soil it has many things that make it an aggressive plant and a plant that will take over and dominate and push out native species and one of those is that this is the end of february and you can see it is just starting to break into full bloom so it blooms very early because it really gets going early in the year and it tends to to come out of its dormancy in late January early February and get a strong foothold and shade out other low growing native plants it also reproduces vegetatively extremely well so it has these little tiny tubers that break off so easily and spread everywhere um, so that makes it really easy to propagate it unintentionally. Also, every one of these flowers, which really are quite lovely, can produce more than 70 seeds, each flower. So it, it proliferates vegetatively and uh, sexually really easily. So it gets that early foothold, shades out other low growing herbaceous perennials, and then reproduces very, very easily. Now the problem is this plant goes dormant later in the summer and that can lead to some significant erosion problems because it likes shade or sun and it can really get a strong hold early in the season and then it goes dormant and it has shaded out other later germinating later maturing plants and killed them and then you end up with areas that are bare and prone to erosion later in the year. So not only is this plant a big no-no because it is so aggressive and really outcompetes natives, it's also toxic. So it produces this chemical called uh, protoanemonin, which it causes liver toxicity, dizziness, um, uh, is potentially fatal for people and livestock. It's a big problem for livestock. Now, if you dry this plant or cook it, it breaks down that compound. So you may see that there are herbal and traditional um, indigenous or Asian and European uses for this plant where it is native, but those are only when it is dried and or cooked. And so please don't eat this plant. Um, to remove lesser celandine from your property, <sighs> You know, I'm going to say, please don't use um, herbicides. Basically, the best way to get rid of this plant is to aggressively sheet mulch it or to dig up the soil and sift it. And what you want to do with a sifter, like you're at an archaeological site or you're sifting your compost, is you want to capture and remove all of those little tiny root tubers. And then you can put the soil back. But this plant is really hard to get rid of once it gets going. So the minute you see some lesser celandine in your yard, you really want to dig it up and you want to do your best to remove every tiny little bit of root tuber before it sets seed. So I hope that gives you a look at this invasive plant from Western Asia and Europe. Lesser celandine may be pretty, but want to do our best to rid our homes of this noxious weed. Thanks for watching.